My name is Nina West. I am from Columbus, Ohio, and I am 39 years old. So I got my drag name uh, when I was in college because I was super um, emotional and in my head and I was listening to a lot of Nina Simone. So obviously, right? And then my last name West comes from my drag mother, Virginia West. I am a really soft, feminine, no, no, no. The kind of queen I am is big, campy, um, classic drag. I'm just a really big old man in a dress and I'm celebrating that. I draw my inspiration from a lot of different places, like Paul Rubens, The Muppets, um, Disney, Barney, right? Steve Martin. The funny men of comedy have always like inspired me, right? Like I feel like I'm the fourth amigo. <laughs> my style of drag is really, it's, I don't know, I don't know, how would you describe it? I would say colorful, crazy, definitely campy. I've won a national pageant. You know, but I, I didn't want to be defined by that, and nor did I, that's why I really hesitated to do pageantry in the first place. For me, I never wanted to be considered one thing. And so I would call my drag, I, I mean, I'm an entertainer and I'm a performer. So the first thing you're gonna get is a great show. I'm colorful, I'm campy, I'm childlike, I'm comedic, I'm serious. I'm a big charity queen, so back home, um, uh, I've raised like over $2 million for a lot of local organizations. That's been something that I think has been a defining characteristic of who I am and how different I am from a lot of other people. Drag is, right at its core, political. I think we have a responsibility as queens to really stand in a position to support and love our communities. You know, it starts back to Stonewall. So I kind of am trying to carry that torch in that tradition and really, really show my love and appreciation. You know, I've auditioned for the show since season two. So, and I took a year off. Um, so that's nine years that I've auditioned for the show. Nine years that I've given uh, a tape and my life and my heart to wanting to be a part of this. And to have it finally happen is so crazy. I don't know, I mean, like, I, I, this is the time I'm, I was supposed to be on. Win, lose, or draw, well, regardless of what happens, I know that I'm leaving my mark on season 11 and hopefully the rest of the world. So, I mean, like, I mean, I'm supposed to be here now. I think of America's Next Drag Superstar because they're, because I represent the big girls, but I also represent the big boys who do drag, right? But, you know, like, I am so much the illusion and so much the artistry of drag. And hello, season 11, go big or go home. Well, we ain't going home till the big girl wins. Hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.